Let me ask y'all a question. When you look at my brothers, what's your first impression? Does the sight of us leave you guessing or do you understand the stressing, the aggression, the look of no hope on my niggas' faces like the Lord overlooked us when he handed down his graces? You see, embraces fall short on the numb tips of street entrepreneurial fingers, stuck in the walls of the project halls where the coke smell still lingers. External blingers is all we can be, because on the inside we've been given nothing to shine on. And the gig is harder to get than coke, so niggas get their grind on, because the TV tells us, aim high, nigga, make all goals lateral. But that takes paper that we don't have, so niggas put their souls up as collateral now. Some niggas reclaim them, some blame them, make an excuse to sell them. But when a nigga goes from not doing to doing, what can you tell him? Not to be a nigga. Shit, I gots to be a nigga, that's how I pay the bills, and I'ma do that whether I got to sling this coke or exploit these rhyme skills. See, America makes you an opportunist, and at the same time they institutionalize you. So the fact that niggas get these big record deals, big money, and then go to jail shouldn't surprise you. That's what lies do. And most of these guys do have raw talent, just infantile education. So the business feeds them all the weed and ecstasy and a little bit of paper to provide some pacification. From all the bullshit frustration they serve you. Meanwhile, they corrupt your perception of what the real is. See, they taken all our businessmen and made them drug dealers. Took all our messengers, made them rappers, just flapping their jaws, afraid to admit their treason. Took all our soldiers for the cause, made them killers for no reason, and being fucked up? Well, that's in this season, so if you're negative, you're positive, and if you're positive, you're called a hater. But I maintain control of my soul, because I know it gets greater later. And I told y'all the last show, I'm no hater, I just know what the truth is. I've been intertwining this pudding for a year now, so I know where the proof is. It lies in these midtown Manhattan skyscrapers, where former hustlers sign papers and do fucked up capers. About 16 infamous stars at a time. Got them chopping and bagging and serving that shit to niggas 16 bars at a time. And the crime is undetectable by the feds, because in the heads of our kids is where the track is. And music shoots straight to the soul. Is so potent, so it's much more addictive than crack is. Now, the high is just an illusion, lies and confusion. But just for that rush, just once these young bucks will go through it. So, in essence, they're still flooding our streets with thugs, drugs, and killing. They just using these record labels to do it. Taking our taking our heartfelt demos, putting us in limos, trying to fuck up our direction. And most niggas is trained to chase money and pussy, so we fall victim to our own erection. Now, convincing ourselves that we're on our way somewhere where we're not going, but ignorance is bliss, and niggas love this, so niggas take pride in not knowing. We not growing. Nigga, I don't give a fuck how slick you flowing if you ain't showing these kids nothing or adding nothing positive to the earth. See, I've been destined to touch this world since the day I was born. To be honest, fuck a deal. God gives me what I'm worth. Yeah.